Welcome to the, uh, another example of the McLaurin series. Today we're going to find one of f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x. McLaurin series is a Taylor series with center at 0. So again, I've divided my board into two. On the left side, I see my derivatives starting with f of x. On the right side, I'm evaluating um, a is 0 into each of those derivatives and original function. So uh, f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x. So you can bring that up and make that. The idea here is you can really call it 1 plus x to the negative 1, and I go from there. So that's where we get the negative 1 times 1 plus x to the negative 2. f double prime is, you know, bring that 2 out front, take the derivative of the inside. So here's our derivatives, and notice the power is going down by 1 each time. And look out front, negative 1, 2, negative 3 times 2, uh, 4, 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 2, and it's negative. Okay, I didn't multiply those out, so it looks like you're seeing a factorial here. Right? Okay, and every other term is negative, so there's some patterns we can see there. Once I start plugging in values, okay, f prime of 0, 0 and for x, okay, that's just negative 1, 0 and for x here, that's still 1. So notice we're getting these coefficients because this term here, when you plug 0 in, uh, is always going to be 1. 1 to any power is 1. Okay, it doesn't matter if the exponent's positive or negative. So look what we're getting here. So we're starting to see some patterns. But again, when you take Taylor series and McLaurin, think about left side being derivatives to a certain level, 5, maybe 4, and then evaluating each of those derivatives for your particular center point. McLaurin series, series excuse me, is centered at 0. So when I go ahead and write the, the series, I get my first term, f of 0 is 1, plus, okay, second term was negative 1, x minus a to the first over 1 to the first. So, again, uh, there's no x minus a. The minus a or the minus c is 0, so it's just going to be x. So, the second term was 2x squared over 2 uh, factorial plus negative 3 and 2 times 1 x to the third over 3 factorial plus 4. So you're seeing the patterns here. And so hopefully you've watched the Taylor series, so I, I didn't rewrite this whole definition again. Um, so what happens? We have 1, and then this simplifies to be negative x. This simplifies to be 2, or x squared, because the 2 and the 2 factorial become 1. This is 3 factorial cancels with this. This is 4 factorial cancels with this. And notice how that every other term is negative. So if I was going to write the sum from 0 to infinity, uh, I need negative 1 to the n, okay? Because if I have first power, that ensure that's, you know, 0 term, first term, second, okay? Um, that would ensure that the, every other term is going to alternate being negative. And then it's just x to the n, right? This is the third term, fourth term. Zero term is just negative 1. First would give you x, negative x squared, and squared would give you um, just x squared. So that's the sum that represents that function f of x um, with a center of 0. So if you have any questions or comments about the McLaurin series, please let me know. Type them below. Check out my other videos if you want to see that formal definition. We'll see you next time.